think that means there's buried treasure there or something like that. Oh, whoa, 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 there we go. Look at that. That's not normal. It's days like today where I oftentimes wonder what goes through my head. You know, first I buy a haunted farm. I bought something else and I, I really just was not thinking clearly, right? And typically here's how this goes. I go to bed and right after I make a stupid decision or a dumb purchase, I go to bed and I'm like, why did I do that? And then I wake up the next morning and I'm like, man, I'm really glad I did this. Um, the same thing goes with this beautiful 1988 Honda Street van imported straight from Japan right here to America on American soil. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new ghost hunting machine. Now this has not got a name yet. It's gonna be on the merch, it's gonna be on the t-shirts and all of that good stuff. Just like you can go to shopmotivated.com and pre-order your Pokemoke Ranch hoodies. They're limited edition. Once we're out, we're out forever. Let's talk about the van, right? We gotta come up with a name for it. And I'm a little bit excited right now. I'm running off some energy drinks and a little bit of sleep, but I'm, I'm basically, me, Chris, Dylan, and Chelsea, we're like, hey, listen, we need a van for this thing because I'm gonna wrap this this upcoming week. So I need your all's help. In the comment section right now, out of these three names on the screen, comment below which one is your favorite. And that's what we're gonna rename this thing because right now it's just a Honda Street van is all this thing's named. How much you think I paid for it? I have no idea. Take a guess. What year is it? 88. 88. We're a little wrong. Ah. They roll. Oh, shit. We're going What do you think it's worth? I said about twelve hundred dollars. Damn it! Whenever I'm that close and it and it misses, I hurt you. Okay, you want to take this thing and you can explore around. We'll follow you. No, you you go with it. I'll follow you. <laughs> Yeah, the baby is right there. What's that? What? Oh, oh. Lumberjack McGee back there. <laughs> He's enjoying this way too much. Oh, you're trimming needs, ladies. Chris will do it. <laughs> Starting on this intro, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, my name's CJ Face, and if you don't know what I'm doing or what I do, uh, well basically, a couple months ago, I bought a haunted farm, and it's surrounded by woods all the way around. It's a really, really cool property. I can't even say that I hate it, but I do at night. It's, um, it's got some weird stuff going on. If you have not watched any of the videos about this farm, obviously you can go to uh, the playlist section here on my channel. It'll fill you in. I got a lot to update you with and it's not like your normal updates so and I need your help in particular in this video here I have brought a GoPro with uh, the stick mount kind of like Chris's camera that I did the other day there is some holes within the floor that we're gonna stick this GoPro up inside of and see if there's any more stuff put up in there uh, very highly unlikely because I feel like whatever was left behind in that cylinder or that tube there really wasn't worth much. I don't know if it was just like a relic that they forgot 
or somebody put up there on purpose for somebody else to find. If that's the case, they did a really, really poor job of giving directions on what exactly it was for, or what it meant, or any of that. A lot of you have helped in the comment section of that video that was posted just a couple of days ago, so I appreciate that, number one. But number two, it just seems really suspicious why someone cut a hole in the floor up into a fake floor above the real floor, or below the real floor. It just is not making sense to me. Now, I will update you on another thing. So that's what Chelsea and I are doing. Chris has been here all day long. Obviously, as you can see, <clears throat> the lawnmower over there is absolutely filthy dirty, but everything's looking pretty good. And uh, what do you think, Chelsea? It's looking damn good. It's looking awesome. Everything's nice and it, it doesn't seem like it's clean looking, but like when you're here in person, it does look a little bit cleaner. Before in person? Yeah, if you saw it before in person, you would understand like this is, this is a big, big difference. And that's what I'm trying to get across to all of you. If you want to come and ghost hunt here, go to ghostproperties.com. I don't know if this video is gonna be posted before August 31st, but if it is, if it is August 31st, the booking's open. If you're seeing this after August 31st, 2023, obviously you can book this place, come out, check it out, investigate for a few hours and uh, go on home. Ooh, all right, hey, before I forget, I got something here for you. So, this right here, is a banner no risk no reward now if you didn't know chris and i he was my navigator i was the driver in the mint 400 in this exact trophy truck that you see right here long story short him and i both are going to autograph this we're going to give it to a random fan down in the comment section so in today's video comment below something it could be nice it could be mean we don't really care maybe not mean but do something nice just drop a comment give your opinion about uh, uh, the farm and the renovations that we're doing, all that good stuff, it would really mean a lot to us. And this is gonna go to one of our lucky subscribers. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do, I've got the uh, GoPro on a tripod that we're gonna try to extend up in there. We'll watch the footage back. I've got two big lights, because lighting is everything in that dark basement. And you're probably wondering too, CJ, that's daytime. Yeah, because nighttime's scary here, folks, okay? Just it is what it is. I just feel as soon as you walk in this house, there's like a hundred people in this kitchen like staring at you. That's that's at least what it feels like. Closing that door? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Bugs. <laughs> Stran <laughs> strangers. Strangers and poor flies and So you probably saw in one of the last videos, obviously there was like some odd remains down here with the charcoal and to me that just didn't sit well with me i didn't quite understand like and i still don't understand why that's even a thing but i don't know i just feel like the charcoal is there for a particular reason i don't really know why but whatever all right so let's go ahead and stick this gopro up in there and there's another hole actually that uh, someone pointed out in the comment section. It's right over here. It's that little small square hole. But they, they pointed that out a while back and were like, CJ, you got you gotta look up in that one. So when we found what we thought was the gas line over here in this hole right there, um, yeah, they, they basically saw that too and someone commented about that. But this, this, this does not make any sense. Obviously when we were finding all the animal skeletons over here, uh, you know, I looked up in between here. I would have never looked up over here and for whatever reason. I just was not really... Was that you? Yeah, it was me. Sorry. <laughs> Man. All right, let me... Yeah. Do, do you need that trusty chair over there? No, I think okay. this, this stick should do it. Somebody's holding the light up there. I'm like, no, oh, give it to me. All right, let's replay this back.
Gosh, that's creepy looking. Whoa. Oh wow, you see that little corner piece right there? Like it looks like you could hide something in there. All right, so that's just the first hole. stick the GoPro in there at an angle. Like, can you get up in here and look? Mm -hmm. I can stick it in at an angle, but I, I, there's no way I can spin it. You know what I mean? I can't spin around, because it's just gonna like look that way, and then look at the ground, and then look that way again. But it looks like it goes that way pretty far. Huh. All right, hang on. Let me try something. the shit out of my middle finger. What's all the crap that fell out of it? Fell out of this? Yeah, that papers and stuff weren't on the floor. That's on this thing. No, because that chair was there. The other night. Because you guys used it to stand on for the other hall. <laughs> What the f***, Chris? Damn, that's a good way to get shot, bitch! What? Motherfucker! You guys are yelling, I'm making sure you're good. No, come here! Hang on. I almost fucking kill myself with a... pipe. Was yeah. it there? No, I'm telling you it was not there. I've seen a lot of junk around this place, but... hundred percent was not there. Is James all again? No! Oh. Damn it. Is all this on that side? Yeah. Wait, you knocked that pipe down? Yeah. I didn't mean to. This Look, it's, it's still swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I went to lean on it and I was gonna like try to pull myself up the hold it and then one. She came down. But across. all this stuff. Came, Look at all this. This stuff came out of it. This papers weren't laying here. Wait, that's that's something off the wall. What is it? I don't know. It's like a red and blue. Are you sure it wasn't that? It fell from the ceiling or that pipe. Oh shit. Were you were he you was, on the left side? What hole were you in? No, I was, I was on this first hole. I did that one. I was trying to the GoPro was gonna be at a weird angle. So I was gonna try to like either go up over and then like try to push into this metal wire. Yeah. And uh, I leaned on it with my I pulled Full body and I was weight. like, oh, we're good. Yeah. Full yeah. body weight. And then I... But that stuff wasn't there. There was stuff in that pipe you're saying? Yeah. Right can we bring up, can we bring up some video? Yeah, I don't know. Pull, pull your phone out so we can record the screen. Well, obviously we'll replay on the screen too. This is weird. Oh gosh. That some bitch is dusty. What is it? Uh, guide for cruising. Never seen that down here before. It was sitting right there on the ground, or it either fell out of that thing or out of here somewhere. I don't know, there's too much commotion going on for me to I heard you guys about the docks. 
Swear to God, I was cleaning up trees. <laughs> Guide for Cruising Maryland Waters, 1980 to 1981. Edgar Allan Poe. No, I don't know if that's actually. I don't know. Do you even is. know who that is? No, I have no idea. Okay. I just heard about him. That was one of the Titanic. Right? Oh, really? I think so. I think he was like one of the survivors or something. Did this come out of? Oh, let's watch this video back. This doesn't make any sense. That's a weird omen. There's like a building that's... It's all gutted. It looks like this place. <laughs> it looks like this place here, right? <laughs> Look, they have like shovels. Hey, that's us. A little workers oh, on gosh. the farm. There's cursive on the back of this. It's drunk handwriting is what I call it. <laughs> I want to buy this place. The other, oh, I went to buy this place the other day. Why is that pipe moving? It just started, as soon as you started reading it, it started turning. I'm oh, sorry, I just had that, that freaked me out. <laughs> what the hell? It just started spinning. Look at it. It's like someone's like moving it. That is weird. weird. Okay. All right, I'll keep an eye on that. Go ahead, sorry, I just, <laughs> get down there closer to it. I'm good, I'm good right now. It may be daylight out, but that don't fucking mean nothing. <sighs> so, I went to buy this place the other day. They have cleaned up around it. I don't know, here, I'm gonna take a picture of this and post it on the screen. Somebody in the comment section tell me what the hell that means, or says. Edgar. Dude, that looks just like you thought I had on this. What? Story. The fuck it does. <laughs> Get out of here. There's a little resonance. Mm. <laughs> Something scratched out of it. It's like a bullet hole on through it, I think. Okay, Chris. Oh, it might have been. <laughs> yep. They missed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see wait, wait, this, no, wait, this is ripped and this is ripped. Did that rip when it came? It was it one of your ex-girlfriends who was like mad at you? She's like, I'm gonna destroy all this stuff, all our pictures. What the fuck? Look at that, filled up Philadelphia, June 5th, something, 1901 something. John P. Gallagher Funeral Director, 1439 Germantown Avenue, North Broad Street, Phil, Phil uh, I'm guessing that's Philadelphia. Phila. What is it? Philadelphia, June 6th, 1917. What? Received the deeds of lot from John P. Gallagher on the above date, name on deeds, James J. Mc. Is St that Storold? An actual deed? Cemetery. Like a house deed? <laughs> oh, it's got the address and everything. Is that like the deed to this place? No, like, no, this is but somewhere. But a in. lot. Flip that over. It could be like a funeral plot lot. Do you know what I mean? Like you buy a lot when you're dead. Oh, okay. Uh, it's from like a funeral. What's that supposed? What's that supposed to mean, though? Like a gravestone before you die, you buy it, so you own the deed to that land, technically. Oh, you're picking your vacation spot. Like your forever home. Was that John P. Gallagher there by chance, or? I mean, is that strange? Possibly. But why is that here? Has it been moving behind me the whole time? Not very much. <laughs> what is happening right now? Weird as hell. Ew. <laughs> I put my hand in there, there's like stuff falling right out. circled Chesapeake City CD Canal there's I don't, I don't know what kind of chart this is a distance table approximate nautical mileage between 
Why is that crossed out? Major boating. Nautical knowledge is water, right? Major boating centers. Yeah, oh yeah, this is like a oh, cruising know. Maryland water thing. Hooper Street, Nincove, Ocean City, Pocomoke. Oh boy. Does it have something to do with the map? What's it do? I don't understand. Road and West something. That marker? No, that's ink. Okay. Are those drawn or are those in the book? No, nah, there's like stamps. Like somebody's stamping this thing too. No, wait, that's printed. <gasps> what? Uh, excuse me. That was weird. That was weird. There's too much going on in this. I have no idea what the hell this is. Do you know how to read a map? Not really. A GPS. I'm good at a GPS. <laughs> I can punch an address in quicker than anybody. Google, take me here. Siri. Easy, easy. I don't understand what this... Why Why was that... Has that always been connected? Or not connected, I should say? Was that con No, it wasn't I connected when really I... I really noticed that. Because <sighs> we didn't... It wasn't in our way the other night or anything. No, but we were on this side. That's what I'm saying. I was over the right mark. It's true. Because right here is where we went up the other night. The chainsaw. That was smart. Mm. I do it again. Chelsea was proud of us. She's like, why did you all do that? I showed her the footage. She's like, that's so dumb. There's so much carbon monoxide in there. I'm like, is that what we got lightheaded? Probably. <laughs> we need to go outside. You have a better times. chance of dying of that than you do chopping your arm off or something. Really? Yeah. So we have long, it's fine. There's like grit. You can hear it in the paper. That's probably just dusty. God knows how long it's been. Oh, whoa, 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 there we go. Look at that. Oh, That's not normal. What's the Where the hell is this? Is where, where are we at? Shinkateague Bay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shinkateague, where's Shinkateague at? This is a bay. They're stocked and says Chinkatigue. Okay, right. Uh, it's right there. There's Chinkatigue right there. Not that that has any significance, but I've been to Chinkatigue before. I mean, obviously, anybody who lived on the Eastern Shore has, but. What is the point? Obster Fish Haven 42 Rec. Um, Chinkatigue Shoals. There's something else right here that's circled with like an arrow. I mean, you said wreck, like pointing to a boat wreck. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Just, I, I really have no idea what that means. I'm just wondering. It's, I mean, it says wreck. I mean, it's got to be like a shipwreck or something. But there's shipwrecks all over. But I feel like we're in another episode of Outer Banks. <laughs> We'd be living here. <laughs> yeah. What you got, bird? This is weird. I guess you would have to have this back in the day. Yeah, but who, like, a fisherman or like a, a boat repo person? Like, I don't like this. <laughs> boat repo person. Boat repo guy. What is this? Before GPS. These are boat yards and marinas. I'd be more freaked out if there was like something with like Pokemoke in here. <laughs> yeah. oh, the only thing was like a circle Pokemoke, but like we found a map of like the Pokemoke from, wait, what was the date on that map? 80 something, 86 or 83 or what was it? 83 or 40. Well, cause there was coins too, remember? I'm trying to remember that. Like one was okay. one was the other date. Or was it the 40? I ain't doing nothing. I'm not touching a single thing that has to do with that pipe. Watch that nail on there. What the hell is that? What? It's a noise. What the? 
What is in that? You. I don't know. Is that drugs? Those two bangs. OPQRS 56. What does that mean? I don't know. I have some odd stuff. In You're there, right? Well, I'm here, but I'll look up in that thing. Do you think they could be like opening, like, you know, the AC vent at the bottom of the steps? Like, could they be opening them and like shoving stuff in it to hide it? Oh. Like through the house? Like, cause, cause that could have, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 cause the AC vent for the steps. Oh, so that might go like way down with more stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like they could have been like shoving stuff in the vents to either hide it from somebody that was in the house. It's possible. There's something blew up in here. Do you know what I mean? 100%. They could open that quick with screwdrivers can I, can I stuff in there. Yeah, can I see this really fast? There's something. Something blew up in there. I guess that goes pretty far up in the house. Yeah, I don't know why it won't pick it up on camera here. Uh -huh. I do everything against my better judgment every time. I feel like you need safety. It's all electrical and everything. Nothing electrical up there. There's a light switch right there. And then we got no power in here. <laughs> It'll be. Watch, well, they turned it on today for some random reason. Why would you put an electrical box right there? Why would you reach up? I can't reach the ceiling. Why would you put that up there? Oh, look, there's the RDI. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm on one of them snake videos. You know what I mean? In Australia where they're like, <laughs> oh, I would die too. Fuck this. Chris, you run fast up them steps. <laughs> you, you, you guys come up the steps just a little bit. Do you think I care about this camera? I don't. I'm I can go up the steps just a little bit. Yeah, Just a little bit. You too. I'm gonna do it from the steps. I'm not doing it from here. You We're like crazy. rats. <laughs> rats and bats. Can you see him still? Oh gosh. I'm telling you, do you if want a me to snake do it? comes out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna have had a girlier scream. You were me. <laughs> Those aren't structural support lines. But the, here's the thing though, is there's the fake floor right there. So there's a floor above the fake floor. Somebody grab the GoPro real fast for me. Wasn't it? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was on here still. What was that? Oh, jeez. A snake. Oh, oh that, was, that was one of the best moments of my life right there. Oh my God. <laughs> that was great. It went down. You didn't plan that any better. <laughs> was like, oh, After I put this GoPro up in the other hole, I'm done for the day. I'm done. <laughs> You're sweating. You're not like the nervous. This sweat. heart's in his fucking boot right now. That took four to eight years off of my life. <laughs> I legitimately died for a brief moment. 
Like, have you got white in your face? I need fresh air. Gosh damn it. <laughs> Look at him, he's white. I know, he's struggling. Fuck. Why in the door? I died and came back to life right then. I could have been a ghost. You can't put a price on that. All right, so after the barrage of comments that came in on the last video about the time capsule, canister, as some people called it, or as I called it, a tube, cylinder, or gas line. Uh, yeah, I got really cool in the comment section for that one. But hey, listen, I'm not a construction guy. I'm just a just a YouTuber and businessman. I'm not, <laughs> not swinging hammers and building fences here. So with that being said, I really was, um, I guess, uh, ill-knowledged. I didn't know. And that actually uh, could have helped me in some areas, but didn't in the others. But realistically, I'm editing this video right now, and I realize that it's not going to make much sense because I just randomly jump on a phone call. So the, the clips that you're about to watch next, I jump on a phone call with what I would consider to be our local expert in a lot of different things, whether it's antiques, maps, history. Mark from Goose on the Roof Antiques, he knows a lot about this. Now, Mark and Gwen Marshall, I've been friends with them for a very long time. I mean, I've known Mark since I was a kid. And he's always been well-versed in maps and charts. And he's actually going to um, kind of describe that in this upcoming scenes that you're going to watch. And uh, the difference between maps and charts, which we have found both, a chart is for water. A map is obviously for land and roads and such. So Mark knows a ton about maps. So I take this map to him, both of them. And uh, he looks over them, and he gives his opinion about it. And the things that he said probably shocked me more than I thought it would. Um, I'm trying to downplay everything in this situation and not get myself too excited. But I feel like that's kind of discounting why someone put something up in the ceiling. That doesn't make any sense. You're hiding it for a reason. And so many of you in the comment section said that. So let's go ahead, roll this footage. From Mark, I think you're gonna be surprised. It's like, is, if I brought you a map that we found up inside of the house, could you kind of like give your I'd juice? love to take a look at that. Okay, if you're gonna see us today then, we'll, we'll head over that way okay. just a bit. All right, man. Thank you, Mark. Yep, see See ya. So like that phone call I just showed you, uh, you know, listen, we don't really think of things and that's why we rely so much on the comment section we are heavily motivated by the comment section in the videos and uh you know chris brought up a good point he's like somebody out there has got to have a theory or an opinion about what we found in the previous video which is obviously that map that whole cylinder thing so we're going to break out the motorcycles we're going to take this map over to mark and just see what he says and it's probably going to be a couple days before we actually have an answer so it might not be this video but maybe the next or might just be right then off the spot he might say hey listen i've seen this before he's uh what i would call a local map and chart expert and like he said in that phone call uh that phone call there's a big difference between a chart and a map obviously a chart is for waters map is for roads so we're gonna take a motorcycle ride because it's beautiful today obviously i have the saddlebags in my motorcycle that i can fit the map in but uh, yeah, so we're gonna head on over there right now. Can I at least grab the map? Should I take the coins to him as well, or? You might know where we do. Map, it's gonna go safely right there. It's gonna take a ride on Harley. Ah, that noise, that sound, that American muscle behind us. I don't know what's better than that, but. Everybody, if you notice the place behind me, Goose on the Roof Antiques, Mark and Gwen Marshall, they are the owners of this place. They've graciously let us film in here before, as you've probably seen some of those videos. But we got the map. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna talk to Mark. What's your uh, what's your synopsis of the map right now? What do you what are you thinking, Chris? I don't know. Mark sounded like he had some uh, good knowledge and information for us, so hopefully he'll 
be able to give us something. We just want a clue. We need something to go off. So I'm feeling good about this. I really am doing it. Some kind of, I mean, I don't know if that's a star or if that's just like a, a mess up or an X or something. Mm, well, what a lot of people do with maps, I, I have maps that I have a, uh, for Dorchester County, a yeah. highway use map for, for Dorchester County. And the state of Maryland uses that for duck hunting purposes for shoreline. Oh wow! Blind duck blind stuff, and it's the same map that they use. You can go to go to the convenience store and buy one. Oh, okay. an ADC map. It's you know every page has got a different section of the okay. county on it. Got it. And I have one of those that I've used for years, and it's got writing and scribbling all over it. This right here may be somebody's duck blind. Okay. Right. It oh could, yeah, because this is like right, right along the river. It could be. Uh, hey, this is the marsh that we got to hunt this year. It could be something where a dude ran his boat or, or you know, I would say if there was something in the water there, he would mark it in, in the water. But if that mark right there means anything to me, it that this is telling you it's marshy. You know, that's what oh, this okay. is, stuff is telling you. All right. Yeah, I see. That's what that's what that's telling you. Uh, hard surface. Mm. See, this is a this is a swamp, then a swamp down here, okay. um, cypress swamp. This is showing you it's a marshy area okay. where it's lighter in color is high dry land. I'm going to guesstimate where it's dark green is probably timber. Okay, C going to be going to be woods. Got it. So okay, that, that's what you're looking at. But you know, so that could just be you know, anything. Really. It could be anything. Okay. I mean, whoever was using this map at some time put something there for whatever his reason was at the time. Got you it. know, the map that I have at Dorchester County that's hanging up out in my garage is from 1955. It's a Dorchester County highway map, right? So it's not all this has to be accurate, but for navigation purposes, if you were going to sail a boat up the Pocomoke River, you would never trust this map. Okay. You would have to have that. That, Because okay. that's focused on the sure. waterway, and if we could, you know, with computer technology, if we could transpose this map on a actual navigation chart for this part of the Pocomoke, you might find that this river is over here, not here. God. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, it could be. Could it could change over time or something. Oh, right? yeah, it all changes over time. Okay. But I would guess that's just something simple like that. You know, somebody used it. You know, yeah. I don't think that means there's buried treasure there or something like that. So, after watching that footage, I have to say a couple of different things. Number one, the star on the map, I think he could be possibly correct about it being a duck blind. I don't know if it's something that's not significant i almost feel like it's worth me and chris going and investigating that um you know we'll, we'll search the area maybe there's a building maybe we can go in that building i don't know i'm not sure but what i am going to tell you is this if we get enough support down in the comments section and it's something that you all think is worth going on a wild goose chase for please let us know in the comments section say cj get the boat get your gear ready um, it's not going to happen next week, but we are going to go on a boat to that certain coordinates and area. And um, actually, it was really cool because Mark told us how to read uh, longitude and latitude. So that way we could find the intersecting points in which that map would, you know, state that that star is at. Now, with, with an aerial view, that could be within hundreds of feet of that star. But there's obviously something significant or somebody wouldn't have marked it there. Now, we could go out there, and if it's a duck blind, then you know what? I'm going to chalk it up and say, big deal. But Mark was so, so informative on different things um, between the, uh, you know, a nautical map and then an actual road or navigational map of land. And he believes that, um, you know, there could be something there in significance, obviously, but you know, obviously like all of us are gonna do, we're gonna downplay it and just be like, well, you know, I don't think it's anything of importance, but the, you know, I didn't get to tell him that, hey, this map was found up in the ceiling of the house. I'm just like, hey, I, I, I wanted, the less information I could give, 
the more, um, and, and he's not going to be biased in one way or the other, but you know, if I said, Hey, look at this map right here. And there's a star up here. What do you think that means? Probably something significant, but if he knows enough about that map, which he does, he could say, Hey, that's a duck blind. So again, um, I'm so thankful for Mark. And in the next video that you're probably going to see, it won't be us on the boat looking for that yet, but we will get ourselves prepared. I can promise you that if it's, if, if there's enough support down in the comments section. So without any further ado, I love you all so much. Guess what, Will? We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Cannot freaking wait until we get there. We're almost this half a million mark, but the channel is growing and I love it. And I thank you and I love you all. See you on the next video.